Hey guys, another vlog. Um, guess what I ordered yesterday? A Lamborghini engine and a clutch as well. Total price 40,000 euro. So I finally cut the ribbon um, and I made the decision to uh, to put in a new engine. Um, why did I do that? Well, uh, <laughs> because I love the car. Um, what did people recommend me to do? Well, not that. Um, Everybody recommends to, I uh, not everybody, but most people, especially on car forums, um, people that have like brains about cars, <laughs> they say sell that that car and um, buy another one. Um, but um, nope, I'm gonna just put in a new engine, and I hope that um, I can drive a lot more with it because I didn't buy that car to sell i bought it to drive into the ground and that happened a little too soon so i'll have to put in some more money to be able to do that it's just a pity yeah, because i bought it at actually 70,000 72 70, 73,000 euro but then um, made a lot of expenses things breaking down about 30,000 euro and if you count all costs about 50,000 euro I spent to drive 25,000 kilometers and then uh, the engine blows up so bang another 40,000 euro so total expenses have been 90,000 euro but this is, this is everything eh? also EDSCs included fuel included everything eh? but still it's a hell of a lot of money eh? but that's what I lost already the 90,000 euro because if I try to sell the car, I, I get at best 40,000 euros, so I lost it already. Eh? And uh, I lost already 90,000 euros, 50,000 in expenses, another 40,000 uh, that I get less for the car than I paid. Eh? Uh, so, so that's what I lost already. So the question is, will I uh, do I want to drive more with a Lambo or not? And if yes, which is yes, of course. Do I um, can I afford it? <laughs> of course. Uh, and thanks to NXT going up, I can afford it. Um, and then the question is: Do I sell this car and buy another one, or do I just put in a new engine? And if I sell this one, I get forty thousand. And if I want to buy something similar, I have to pay eighty thousand. But then they have the government eh, wanting also. Um, money from me uh, when I uh, need to order a new plate from them uh, another 15,000 plus of course taxes went up uh, for new cars so I paid 2,500 euro per year in uh, main uh, in road taxes suddenly that's like four or five thousand per year then so if I count total costs it's like hundred thousand euro to buy uh, a similar car that will have on the odometer uh, already uh, 50,000 kilometers eh? so that would be um, around 30,000 miles eh? um, 35,000 miles of course if I put in a new engine here the odometer doesn't go down there is still 50,000 miles 75,000 kilometers on it but I know I can drive probably another um, and I'm gonna treat it well because probably my engine was abused because it has exploded a little bit too soon I only did 75,000 kilometers I think on average people can drive 100,000 kilometers with it um, before it breaks down like that so 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 with this new engine I probably can do another 100,000 kilometers about 70,000 miles and I'm sure because if I sell this car eh, and I buy another second hand Gallardo I'm not sure this thing's gonna explode on me again immediately eh? because the moment it has kilometers on it it could be abused kilometers uh, abused miles but especially for for the price I'm willing to pay it will already have 
50,000 kilometers, 30,000 miles. So, so I mean, for me, if I'm, I make my calculation, I'm cheaper off putting in a new engine for 40,000 kilo uh, euro, 50,000 dollars, uh, than uh, selling this one and buying another one. And um, I feel very fortunate. I can do that, of course. A uh, blow another fifty thousand dollars on this car—it's of course crazy amounts. Uh, but um, I'm gonna do it a little bit smarter this time. Um, I'm gonna well start a business around this, and I love to offer people a ride in a car. Eh? Um, to drive with me and sometimes I let people drive but of course I did that for free for fun but I'm gonna offer this for money so maybe ask 100 euro to drive with me and if you want to drive yourself on 200 euro something like that and um, and I think that uh, it's a great offer eh? because it's really super to drive in that car and um, and uh, and um, I'm having fun and I'm uh, making money so uh, I'm making money <laughs> it will probably just cover the expenses of the car eh? I'm not gonna make profits probably but I'm have, having fun and it doesn't cost me a fortune to do so because that's it has been the case and I'd like to avoid that for the future so I'm, I'm planning to do that and uh, I hope that works out mm. I feel uh, good about that. I think it's a, it's a wise decision, and doing things that you love, uh, is uh, and making money with that is is always a, a wise decision. It doesn't mean it's gonna work out, but the odds that it works out is a lot better because you love it. Uh, so that's the update on the Lamborghini. Um, yeah, I think I got an okay deal. Uh, um, it was 48,000 euro of course this is 21% VAT VAT taxes included eh? uh, and um, uh, I, I was able to bring that down to 40,000 euro um, and of course the clutch had to be renewed this was a 5,000 euro expense I knew that was coming so in fact I paid about 35,000 euro eh? uh, for a new engine it's a lot of money. Um, with Porsche, you're much better off price-wise. Uh, you get much more of value for your money. I mean, you certainly get a lot more kilometers or miles for your money. Uh, but um, yeah, for me, yeah, I fell in love with this car. I think it's a different experience, a Lamborghini versus a Porsche, for example. This car, just like a lot more people find it fascinating that's just a statistical fact eh? if I drive around with this car a lot of people say wow especially children <laughs> but um, and I I also say wow <laughs> uh, but um, you have this much less with the Porsche you can't like for example offer people rides in a Porsche for money it's too ordinary it's too common. Eh? Of course, you can offer it, but you cannot ask so much money. Eh? Uh, you have to ask a lot less. It speaks to the Im imagination of people to be able to uh, get a ride in a Lamborghini or Ferrari, uh, because it's something more. It's something special. Eh? Um, but I am. It's without question. Porsche is a very, very. I like. In the future, I think. If I can afford it, I would much rather buy a 918 Spider. They cost a million, so that's way out of my budget. But it's like I think Porsche is really upping up the game now, eh? also going into electrical cars. And they have this new model. It's I forgot the name, but it's really amazing. They are also planning to release full, fully electric cars, and, and they are going to steal the show probably. And that's the one thing that Porsche is missing, in my opinion, is its design and eh, the looks of, of the car. 
it's been stuck into the main the same design for way too long uh, and they need to modernize but it seems that they are starting to do that with the 918 spider they have done that and uh, and their next electrical cars look tremendous eh? so i would much rather go there because the problem with these italian cars is they are not reliable at all it's really not acceptable that this things how much it breaks down it's just terrible I, I, I i'm just like every time i go for a drive i cross my fingers nothing happens and every third time i do it right something happens it's something breaks down it's a total disaster eh? but but the the wow experience is also fantastic and i can't get that with a porsche eh? uh, so and a ferrari has the same issues um and and and, and many of these uh, wow cars have 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 these issues so um i think it's a real dream if you can have both like a wow the wow factor and also a reliable car but uh, it's not there yet, uh, I think, except if you're willing to put down a million, which I don't have. Hmm? So, um, voila, I'm going to get the car probably in a month, because it's still in Vienna now, uh, where it broke down in Austria or in Czech Republic. But they, they, they towed it to Austria and uh, they are now going to tow it to the Netherlands. And uh, the, 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 my... Um, service center will uh, will fix it uh, probably I'll get it back in a month so I'm looking forward to that thanks for watching guys subscribe to my youtube channel down below eh? and click like uh, if you like this video bye and have a great day